Okay, so in this lesson, I want to introduce you to the component library that we'll be using to build our employee registry user interface. And the library is called Material UI. You can check out its website on mui.com. And this is the most popular React component library in use today. It actually has over 80,000 stars on GitHub. And it is inspired by a design standard called Material Design, which was originally developed and endorsed by Google. So the design standard itself, which is not this library, but just the combination of things like fonts and font sizes and elements and typographies, the actual collection of units that designers came up with was inspired by a whole team at Google. So obviously people with a lot of knowledge of making a good accessible user design. And this is the React component implementation of that standard because you'll find similar implementations for different uh, other front end libraries. All of that's to say, I'm not saying that this is the single best React component library out there. Uh, there are dozens of good options, literally. And the other thing I want to mention is it's not important that you memorize every component that is available here and its props and its API and all of that. This is just to get you inspired to think about uh, other components that have been built by other developers that you can very easily bring into your project and use very quickly to build a modern, wonderful layout without having to write a lot of code yourself or write a lot of CSS yourself. It really is a matter of personal preference whether you want to use a technology like Tailwind and keep things in your own styles and your own kind of vision, or if you don't really care and you just want a nice, flexible uh, combination of React components, everything from a nav bar to a card to a list, you can always turn to a component library such as this one. So I figured I might as well introduce you to the most popular one as an example, all right? So you can head to MUI.com and on the homepage, you can click on Get Started and on the left hand here, if you scroll down to components and click that section of the menu, you're actually going to see all of the available components in this library. Earlier in the course, we used the um, React switch library, which was really just one component. This is a lot larger in scope. You can see here, there are components for inputs, components for data display, feedback, services, navigation, and more. There's a ton of different components here. For example, if I click on skeleton here, this looks like some kind of a skeleton loading screen. So kind of the background loader that, sh that shows while data is being fetched. If I go to accordion, this is an accordion component, which is a basic collapsible tab that shows data and then hides it, right? There's a card here, which is just, as we know, a, a collection of information related to one entity. That's all under surfaces. And if I scroll up, there's all kinds of stuff here. For example, here is an avatar, which is just a a user image, right? A circle representing a, a user on your site. There is a rating uh, component to represent a rating if you're building some kind of e-commerce site. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Here's a text field for a regular text input. And you can see there's all kinds of variations, whether it's outlined or, you know, the gray background, white background, standard input, all kinds of different variations that you can utilize by altering the props or the component that you actually import from the library. So there's a lot to explore and dive into and a lot of different ways we can customize the components that are available to us, but it's just to show what is available within this material UI ecosystem. It's a lot more than one component. It's a whole bunch of them. And I'm just going to introduce you to a couple of them as we build our UI throughout the section, just to show you what's possible and get you inspired. All right. So with that said, in the next lesson, we're going to install this NPM library to our project. So I will see you there.